our discussion about probabilities is going to shift to these things called discrete probability distributions. They're discrete in that the data is discrete. It's countable. The numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. The probability distribution part, that's what I wanted to find next. A probability distribution. is basically a rule that gives all outcomes to a situation and their probabilities. Now, just like any probabilities, all probabilities in the probability distribution must be between 0 and 1. But in the probability distribution, the sum of the probabilities, if you were to add them all up, is always equal to 1. So let me show you an example of what a probability distribution might look like. Let's say we wanted to know the probability of the number of classes a student attends on a given day. So x, my variable, is the number of classes they attend. Maybe they attend 0, 1, 2, or 3 classes. And we can list their individual probabilities. The probability the student attends 0 classes is 0 0.01. The probability the student attends 1 class is 0 0.04. The probability a student attends 2 classes is 0.15. And you should be able to figure out what the third probability here is, because we know the probabilities all have to sum up to 1. And so if we add up what we currently have, we've got 0.2, which means to get to 0.1, the last one has to be 0.80. The probabilities must all sum to 1 because we're listing all the possible results. Now we can use this probability distribution that we've drawn out to answer several questions. Let's say I want the probability a randomly selected student actually attended two classes. Well, I can see the two classes on the third row of this distribution has a probability of 0.15. Let's do a little bit of a more involved question. Let's ask what's the probability a random student attended at least two classes. Now, when we say at least two, what does that mean? At least two means two is a minimum, or they could have attended more. So we're really looking for the probability of two or three together. And so we're really looking for both the probabilities for 2 and 3 combined together. So we're going to see 0.15 plus 0.80, which means we've got a 95% or a 0.95 probability that a student attended at least two classes. Notice how that's different than if I ask, what is the probability that they attend more than 2. If I ask for the probability that someone attended more than 2 classes, now I'm not talking about 2 because 2 is not more than 2. I'm just talking about the number 3. So the 3 classes attended would just be this 0 0.80 probability that a random student attended more than two classes. We can look at this the other way, too. Let's find the probability that a randomly selected student attends less than two classes. If we're attending less than two classes, less than two means they could have attended 0 or 1. Less than two, notice, does not include the number 2 because it's strictly less than 2. So now I'm combining 
0 and 1 together as probabilities. So the 0 probability is 0 0.01, plus the 1 probability is 0 0.04, which means we've got a total probability of 0 0.05 that a randomly selected student attends less than two classes. Let's do one more variation on a theme. Let's find the probability they attend at most two classes. At most two means two is the maximum they could occur. So we've got 0, 1, or 2, this time including the number 2. So we need 0, 1, or 2 included in this answer, which means we're going to add all three probabilities together for 0, 1, and 2. That would be 0.01 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.15. And adding those together is going to give us 0.20 is the probability a student attended at most two classes. So that's the idea of a probability distribution, is it lists the individual probabilities for every single possible outcome. We say this is a discrete probability distribution because the answers are in discrete countable steps, 0, 1, 2, 3, not continuous. You're not going to attend 0 0.4567 classes. It's not a continuous measured amount. But it is a discrete probability because we can list the individual countable results.